Hello, you are welcome. In this video, we are going to compare between 5 raised to the power of 4311 versus 4 raised to the power of 5311. We are going to find out which of these is actually the bigger number. Now, let's consider this. So we have 5 power 4311 and this equals, we can write this as 5 power 4000. Then we have plus 311. Then we make use of this identity if you have a power n plus n. This equals a power n times a power n. So when once we apply this identity, that means we are going to have 5 power 4000 times 5 power 311. Now, we can also make use of this identity. Here we can have this as 5 power 4 times 1000. Then we have times 5 power 311. And from here we can have 5 power 4 or power 1000 times 5 power 311. So at this point, we can have it as 5 power 4 is simply 6 to 5. Then we have power 1000 times 5 power 311. So we can stop this right here. Now let's consider the second number. So we have this other one here. 4 power 5. 3, 1, 1. And we can rewrite this as 4 power 5000. Then we have plus 3, 1, 1. And by applying this same identity, we are going to have 4 power 5000 times 4 power 3, 1, 1. Then this equals we can have it as 4 power 5 times 1000. Then we have times 4 power 311. So from here, we can rewrite this as 4 power 5 or power 1000. Then we have times 4 power 311. So at this point, 4 power 5 is simply 4 into 5 places and that is 1024. So we have 1024 power 1000 times 4 power 311. So at this point, we are now comparing this against what we have here. This. So what can we do at this point? Now let's get back to this other one here. We have 6 to 5 power 1000 times 5 power 311. Now we can further rewrite this as 6 to 5 instead of 1000. We can have it as 689 plus 311. Then we have times 5 power 311. 689 plus 311 will give you 1000. So we apply that same identity. That means we are going to have 6 to 5 power 689 times 6 to 5 power 311. Then we have times 5 power 311. Now, since the powers are the same here, we can multiply these two bases. So we are going to have it as 6 to 5 power 689 times we have 6 to 5 times 5. Or power 311. So when once we have that, we are now going to have 625 power 689. Then we have times. Now 625 times 5, we are going to have 3125. And this is raised to the power of 311. So we can further rewrite this as 625 
power 689 times 3125 power 311. Now let's do this here. So the same thing here, this one here, instead of this 1000, we are going to have 689 plus 311. So we have 1024 power 689 plus 311. Then we have times 4 power 311. And this will give us 1024 power 689 times 1024 power 311 times 4 power 311. So the powers are the same. We combine it, then we are now going to have 1024 power 689 times 1024 times 4 or power 311. So Right here, we are now going to have 1024 power 689 times, now 1024 times 4, we are going to have 4096 power 311. Now, let's now compare this with what we had here. So we are now going to compare 625 power 689 faces 1024 power 689 and we will also compare 3125 power 311 faces what do we have here 4096 power 311 4096 power 311 remember this was multiplying this and this was multiplying this now it's very obvious that the number here is less than what we have here and what we have here is also less than what we have here so this implies that 625 power 689 times 3125 power 311 is less than 1024 power 689 times 4096 power 311. 4096 power 311. So, if this is less than what we have here, this also means that the original number that we were given, remember, it was actually 5 raised to the power of 4311 that gave birth to this particular number here. To this particular one here so that means we can all agree that 5 power 4 3 1 1 is less than 4 power 5 3 1 1 and that is it for this video i believe you enjoyed the class please don't forget to subscribe share this video to your friends thank you and goodbye